Welcome back to another video guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix your Assetto Corsa look. Because I mean the game looks pretty bad. It looks pretty um, like just not good. So you're going to go download some reshade. Type that into Google. I'll have a link in the bottom. Go to reshade, okay. You want to pick up reshade. Go ahead and click this little blue download button right here. That should take you right to the download. And uh, it's easy like that, okay. So now we just have to wait for this, honestly. It doesn't take too long. Anyways, this is going to make your game look a lot better. Uh, you can do this to any game you want, but you want to select your game. I'm going to go to local, program files, Steam, Steam apps, and then to a set of Corsa uh, to choose the game that you want to do this to. You can do this with PUBG and get away with it. Like, it's not like a, it's not like a VAC band thing. But I know on other games, you might be able to get back banned. Anyways, you want to choose a set of Corsa, the red little symbol right there. Don't choose any of the ACSs. And you want to select DirectX 10. Or, you know, DirectX 9, whatever you're running. I run DirectX 10, 11, so. Choose that. It downloads all the shaders and stuff from this website, Reshade. And basically what it'll do is it'll give you a little menu where you can choose what you want. If you've never used it before, it'll be like clarity, sharpness. And basically when you get this pop up right here, you want to click uncheck all. And once you uncheck all, you can go ahead and choose the best ones for your situation. Honestly, like the first ones starting off are not too good. Like I wouldn't have all of them because when you have all of them, it takes longer to load up the game. And at some point, I clicked uncheck all. I'm sure of it. Once you click uncheck all, then you want to go down and you want to choose the ones that I choose. First, you want to choose it this bad boy clarity and you want to choose colorfulness and you can choose any of the ones you want on the sleeve but these are just the ones i use they look the best like hdr it's a good one and you're gonna go ahead and choose luma sharpen it's a very nice very nice one it makes the game look like uh, not blurry but sharp yeah hey, you'll see i click the effect on and off in the end you want to click that one then we'll come down to the bottom and click vibrance right in the end then you go over to your game, you want to force 32-bit version, so make sure that's clicked on. Then when you drive, you're going to load up your game, and uh, it's going to have um, that box up the top. That's how you know it's working, because it's going to load all your shaders, and it will take the game a little bit longer than usual to load up, but that's how long it took for me, not too long. You start in, you press Shift F2 and you can create your own profile with the effects but i already had one created and then you just click through them. and it changes the way the game looks it's honestly pretty nice technicolor makes it takes the brightness away and uh, makes it kind of more more eye candy ish then we go over here this one makes it look nice as well i'm just testing them all out honestly you can sit here and test all of them out if you want and really make your game look good. This one is crazy because look how blurry that is and then it sharpens it up. It's like, well, now that's some next level stuff. So if you guys did enjoy this video, I'm going to be coming up with another one. It's going to be a uh, head motion to see.